guys, this is Sarah with It's Nate Paper Co. And I have another fun video with my husband today. Yay. This, <laughs> this is all his stuff. What he is going to actually be doing is showing you kind of how he has, I guess, made to-do lists and wrote and written down notes for years. And I would say, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago? About two weeks. Two weeks. I mentioned bullet journaling to him slash traveler's notebook and all of that. And so he started looking into it and he got pretty excited because it was fairly close to what he was already doing. So he's going to show you what he already did prior to the whole bullet journal thing for him. And then he's going to show you some of the things that we have bought in the last two weeks basically to get him started on the whole traveler's notebook bullet journal road so that journey. he can it's a journey journey so that he can be more organized and i'm not allowed to call it planning it's because planning. to him it's not planning it's journaling. it's journaling so but anyway most of this is going to be him i'm gonna let him take over so uh he'll show you what he used to do and then what we've bought and that'll be pretty much everything right yeah all right so i'm gonna let him take over well, for me, this kind of goes all the way back to my granddad, and I don't have an example of what he used to do, but he everywhere he went, every time he left the house, he'd carry this little, it's what most folks now would refer to as a passport size, or even maybe a little smaller, okay. kind of like a, a pocket journal. And in that journal, he kept serial numbers of all of his valuables and descriptions of everything, and, you know, just kind of lists and ledgers and different stuff like that. So if ever, you know, he was gone and he, the house was broken into or there's a fire, anytime he had a loss, he could pull that little journal out and he, he and he could know exactly and describe exactly and even give serial numbers and whatnot for stuff that may or may not have been stolen, lost, or destroyed. So it was something that really kind of... You know, he set me on this path then, seeing how organized, how he had everything. And of course, being a little younger, I, I had all my stuff set up on a computer. I had databases or spreadsheets or whatever with all my stuff listed. And um, but you know, what really good is that if it's just sitting on the computer? If the computer stores, honestly, it's going to be one of the things stolen or or easily destroyed in a fire. You don't have that. So a few years ago, actually, I, I got this one back when I was in. Um, I was in college when I got this one, and I've I've not used it very much, um, for the simple fact that this paper is is ribbed and lined. I got this back at a at a books a million, um, and everything, and and you can see it's just, it just it was never that easy to work with. I ended up making more mistakes than I did anything else, but I always held on to it because you know I really like that that real leather appearance and everything, and um, you know it was really one of my first. Uh, later in life, I was gifted uh, one of these, and if you're in the military, you know anybody in the military, you know exactly what it is. My brother-in-law, uh, who served in the Army, he sent me a couple of these, and it's just something that I used uh, for years. And I went through, and you can see anything from you know ammunition orders for, for uh, bird hunting trips, um, all different kinds of stuff. When we got into softball, I went through and researched how to calculate ERAs and batting averages, did my fantasy football draft one year. Um, I started uh, getting um, recipes for, uh, so, um, you know, wild game recipes and started keeping them in here. And I carried this thing for years. And you can see back here, let's see. Uh, when I got into Minecraft, I started taking uh, notes on my Minecraft stuff. And um, I even, at one point, um, I did a little bit of programming and went through. And But like, it, it's just something that for years and years and years I had and kind of went through it with. And I've started here recently um, with uh, one of these, just, you know, keeping up with passwords and whatnot. It's just something I can keep passwords and uh, all kinds of stuff. And just keep it in the, safe, in, the, in the fire safe and keep it somewhere safe. But just, I've got years of doing this kind of thing. I didn't realize that it was a thing until, you know, Sarah introduced me to it. And it's called bullet journaling. And uh, we watched a lot of awesome uh, videos on YouTube and, and, and got some really great ideas and looked at some really cool uh, products and everything. And I settled on this one. Um, from Amazon. Yeah, from Amazon. Where's that box? It's right there behind you. You know, it came as a starter kit and it came with uh, three of the inserts. It came with a really nice uh, leather bound uh, journal. It came with a pen and the removable pen clip. 
which are really cool. And uh, an insert here where you can stash business cards and stuff, uh, passports or, or boarding passes or, or whatnot in there. And it's made by a company called Sovereign Gear. Um, we found it on Amazon at a really great price. And uh, we brought it in, you know, we got delivered. In, uh, in its two days. It was like 36 or 7? 31, I thought. 31. Yeah, it was, it was it on was the low side. The it was low side of the 30s. But uh, I tell you, just quality-wise, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really, really happy with it. It is, and you can tell from the texture here, it is genuine leather. So and it came with uh, one insert of, gr of grid paper, which I can put to good use, and one insert of ruled paper, and then... Um, one pay one one insert of just blank paper which honestly there's not too much i can do with that um i need something to keep my line straight otherwise it'll it'll just be it'll it'll be a mess trail off yeah it'll trail off and and but um i am really 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 happy with it so but that's not the only thing we picked up you wanna um we also got on etsy and went to the yellow paper house shop and we picked up um, some pretty cool stuff. And he has already looked through these and we somehow misplaced one of the uh, yellow paper house thingies. So that's why there's only mm -hmm. three of four of them. But And uh, she had a bunch of uh, color options as far as paper. Was it 23 color options, I believe? 23, 21, I don't remember. It was a lot of Yeah, a lot of great options. And then even past the color option, she had, I think, seven or seven or nine size options. And then uh, five paper options. So what we're looking at here is ivory grid. I went through and picked nice ivory color and got a second uh, box of grid papers. And I went and got a, a monthly a monthly planner blank, and I got it in a, was it a mint green? Mint. Mint green. Um, and this allows me to go through and populate the months that I want to. Um, you know, if I'm busy, I can skip a month or or whatever. You can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also got uh, a bright. Uh, was it bright white or? It was just white. Brilliant, brilliant white or something I like think that. She just called her white. No, I got a second um, lined, ruled, if you want to call it, insert. And then uh, what I was really excited about is I got uh, dot grid, which the you know for me uh, with my draft with my drafting the design background. There's a lot I can do with dot grid. To me, it gives me the most flexibility as far as what I want to do with it. So I was really excited to get that. And I think we all, we already got some more on order. Um, yes. We got online and we're looking it around. It was her five dollar Friday. Yeah, special. and she was doing five dollar Fridays, and we got we ordered a bunch for yeah. me actually, yeah. and then one I think for you. Yeah, I, I got another dot grid, I believe. Yep. Um, a blue, light blue. Uh, yeah, I think so. So and she included. Um, just her contact, yeah, her information, contact information and a thank you yep and we and we were really happy with them you know it came it came really quick too i know it was like two or three days i know some of sarah's take seemed to take weeks and weeks to get here and then this was here that quick i was surprised it actually came in the same day as the journal we ordered it tuesday night we it was ordered here yeah friday yeah we so. ordered from amazon and yellow paper house on the same day and we had prime shipping for the journal and they both got here the same day so that's really awesome yeah and this is a project life card which i'm sure most of you know it's not something he's probably going to use but it is something that i am going to hold on to myself so just to kind of show it a little bit closer there as well so you kind of see everything she sends along with her um books and everything and uh, the, the next one will probably go into a haul of my stuff and less his stuff so because it's just one for him and then the rest are going to be for me because it's something that i'm looking into trying as well um but i don't know when i'm actually going to start it but i'm getting the stuff together as i see it on sale so um do you want to show them the rest of the stuff yep. that you got to be yep. able to use in the book well one thing i got not to use in the book that i was really happy for is when we do Sarah's videos, we actually have washi tape off here off to the side so that we know where the camera line is. I've never been happy with her washi, but I was able to find caution tape washi. I was so excited about it. So we're going to get her her uh, recording platform here lined out with it. It's going to look really great. She wanted me to haul it because she didn't want the credit for finding it. And, and you're going to use it, it in yours. I'm not using I'm it. I'm not using it in mine. I bought it strictly for your desk. Then we wasted money, but okay. We did not waste money. Anyway, I thought that was really cool, and I look forward to using it. But getting to the stuff we did go and get for me to use, I am not very artistically inclined, and my handwriting 
is as atrocious as you've seen from the two hus- husband plan with me's that I've done with Sarah. So I went and I got some stencils um, for, for different flags and boxes and checklists, which I may or may not use those at any point, but there are some things in here that I will use. Um, I will definitely use my letter stencils uh, more than that. But um, what this, I really... I'm sorry. This one is from Michael's Recollections oh, line. Yeah. This one, I'm not sure the line that it's with, but it is from Joanne's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It looks like my art C. I'm not really sure. My Arctic. My Arctic. I don't know. It was on clearance, so. Art C. Art C. It's a brass template. Okay. Okay. So we got those. I look forward to using those. Uh, we also went and I saw. Actually, Sarah showed me some of the some of the stamps that she has here. But we went. I went and got. I found these uh, at Michaels for a buck a piece. Yep. And so I picked up some of those. And he got these to store it in, just something small to keep it all together for when the boxes start to not do so well with the stamps. Yeah, and they were, oh, we got these boxes at Joann's. They were a couple of dollars a piece. Also picked up some of these really cool paperclip looking guys uh, to hold my inserts together. So I got a handful of those. I did, I've seen some really, really creative ones out there. But um, not any that we didn't see any while we were out that I really that really caught my eye as much as these. I think there were some clothes hanger ones. So. Also picked up some new ink uh, for the stamps. This is one of Sarah's old inks that I've been using. But this is a new one we picked up at. I want to say we got it at Michaels as well. Yes. And then Sarah had these two sets of stamps, uh, caps and, and lowercase. And then I found the, well, I call these varsity lettering. And um, I was real happy with finding that because I think that'll make some excellent uh, headers for some of the stuff I, I'm going to do. And then these I thought were fairly unique. It's not something I'd seen a lot of. So I picked them I you know, for a dollar. You can't go wrong. So, but uh, yeah, that about does it for me. Baby, was there anything I missed? You didn't show them the stamp cleaner. Oh, the stamp cleaner. Which we're going to have to get more of. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more of that. This was also has been in Sarah's collection for... A year. Yeah, you know, it, it came with, or she bought it with, um, this, this ink set. And there was probably at least um, 16, 18 different colors in that set. I'm using black only on mine. I'm not going to get all fancy or artsy or colorful with my stuff i'm trying to keep it you know very plainish so but yeah i mean that's that's all the stuff i got to do my bullet journaling with don't let please don't let sarah call it booju that that that's the acronym that a lot of planner people use possibly even people watching this video i don't like the term booju <laughs> that's his personal preference so um Anyway, so yeah, you want to pull some of the other stuff that you got and just kind of lay it all out on the table? Yeah. Get all this stacked up real quick. Yeah, so that they can see everything that you ordered. <laughs> just the new stuff. Okay. All right, that is everything that he ordered. If you have any questions or anything on what he ordered, definitely ask down below. Looks like my battery is about to die, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.